What we got here is uh, we're on Delaware River. Um, me and Mike are out here where he just won a tournament. We're fishing low tide. It's given us a little extra time because it's gotten so low. The fish have tightened up in, uh, so, in this scenario. You want to try to cover as much water as possible during this premium tide situation. Uh, you want to get on your best habitat and you want to run it north because if, as you go north, you're going to continue to stay with that lower water. And you, I, I see a lot of people linger on places in these type of situations. And that, that's a mistake on tidal water fishing, especially in Delaware, because the current comes in so hard, so fast. So you want to hit as many pieces of habitat you can, your best pieces, and you want to fish your best grass beds at this premium low outgoing or low incoming tide and just run that river north. And that's called running the tides. There's a big one. Oh, oh man. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Look at that. God, another giant Delaware River bass, Sweet. man. Sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Another big one for the river. And you can see him turn sideways under that yeah. pipe. You know, uh, two, two and a half, about two and a half pounder. And you see right here, one of the reasons this river's got so good is even though we're fishing hard stuff, Logan lays right next to it. And that's a key is to find the combination of that, where the soft stuff butts up against the hard stuff a lot of times, you can get bit. And it's funny, because here again, here's the second key bait for me last week. And uh, talk about it real quick. This is a brand new jig I'm working on with Johnny Cruz, with missile jigs. And this is a small, compact, a finesse jig. A, a small profile, which is real key on the river, brown and purple, but here's the real key. And I want you to take a good look at that trailer. That's a Berkeley Power Bait Chigger Chunk. And the action on that thing behind that little half ounce jig on the fall, and even as you're working it, is what triggers a lot of those Delaware River bites. Man alive, what a fish, Pete. That's sweet. What a fish. Let's let him go in the salad. Look at this hydrilla bed. We haven't seen hydrilla like this on the river ever. He had you totally handcuffed, man. You Dude. couldn't catch up to that fish. And you see it's the one place where that I don't know if it happens everywhere, but see that lat yeah. comes across and that current's pushing back uh, in there now. It's amazing because this hydrilla forces that, it forces a, like a little creek through here, you yeah. know? Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli here. We just got wrapped up on the Delaware River. Want to talk to you a little bit about my gear notes for two of the baits that helped me win the Delaware River. You know, the first one was the Pit Boss. 3 8 ounce VMC tungsten weight, 5 aught VMC hook, and the rod and reel, real important. This is a seven foot medium heavy Veritas 2.0 rod and I've got it paired with an Abu Garcia MGX in the seven nine to one gear ratio. Super fast reel, set the hook, get them out of that cover as quick as I can. The line's important too, you know, fishing around all this nasty cover, it was important to have a line that was really abrasion resistant and I decided to go with Berkeley Trilene 100% fluorocarbon in 20 pound tests. This combination of this reel, this rod, and that pit boss, absolutely a key to my win at the Delaware River. You know, the second bait that was super important is that brand new finesse jig by Missile Jigs, brown and purple, little tiny Berkeley chigger crawl on the back. And the rod and reel line were important on this deal too. And for the rod on the little jig, I went with the Abu Garcia Veracity rod in the seven foot, medium heavy action rod. Real, same exact reel. I want something with the super fast gear ratio. I went with the Abu Garcia MGX and the seven nine to one gear ratio and the same exact line. This is 20 pound Berkeley Trilene 100% fluorocarbon. Pitching that jig and nasty stuff. I needed that rod, that reel and that heavy line to get them out. Mike Iaconelli talking about the gear I use to win the Delaware River for Tackle Warehouse. Yeah, you know, this is uh, another classic Delaware River hard object, hard target. Uh, it's bringing back memories. I know it's only a week, a week old, but uh, really important fish came for me here late in the last day. You know, a two and a half, two and three quarter pounder. Uh, they're the kind of fish out here that can really boost your confidence. It just goes to show that when you find a key piece of cover like this, keep hitting it multiple times during the day, multiple times during the week and sooner or later it's going to pay off. And I pulled up on this, 
The timing's right, caught a good one. Really efficient, helped me win the tournament. Oh! That's from too many times setting the hook into the dock like you were talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how good Byron did off them pilings, huh, on that point? On the south point? On oh, yeah. the riverside, yeah. Yeah, is that where he got him? Yeah. He found it and caught him there. Yeah. But he stuck all day, you know? Wow, let's see. He had a buoy on him. I drove past and I knew he was fishing the right thing because his yeah. buoy was sitting way out on I the I saw bank. four or five boats at any given time out there spectating on it. Yeah. Sitting right on it. So I couldn't tell it was him, but that makes sense. He made a cut off of it, you know? Yeah, that's a hard one to drive by. But it just didn't shine for us, you know? No. Nah. A lot of that stuff we didn't. It's like, you're better off, you know, just going and fishing it during the tournament, you know? Yeah. There's the slip that fish came out on the last day. This one? I, I marked it, yeah. This wow, far out. you're way out. I'm Pete Gluzak from Bass University TV, and I've, I've been using Denali rods out on the tournament trail. I've won Bassmaster Opens, I've won FLW Everstarts with these rods, and, and there's a couple reasons why I really like them. They have all the actions that I need to be successful, no matter what type of technique that I'm using. But there's three rods in particular that I love. I, I have a half a dozen dozen of each of these types of models. And this is the Mark Tyler all-purpose rod. It's a, it's a seven foot, four inch rod. Uh, it comes in medium heavy and heavy action. And you know, I use the medium heavy action when I'm using a lighter finesse jig like I have here. Uh, very effective for throwing a Carolina rig, a spinner bait and a chatter bait. Uh, it's an outstanding fishing rod. It's a seven foot four length, which gives me a lot of versatility, a lot of, be able to get a lot of pressure on those fish when I need to. But definitely, it's an all-purpose rod and I use it all-purpose. A uh, great little rod to have. Another little rod that I have here is, uh, this is this is a jerkbait rod. It's, it's another signature series by Michael Murphy, but I love this rod for throwing a shaky head. It's a, it's a little bit shorter than seven feet. It allows me to have great ac casting accuracy when I'm trying to get under docks, under trees, into the cover, and it's got plenty of backbone because I'm marrying up with that gamma torque braided line. So I'm going to get strong hookups with this system. So, but I love this rod. It's extremely comfortable grip, and uh, it's short enough where I can get some great casting accuracy. Uh, dynamite little tool for shaky heads, weightless senkos, that type of thing. This rod right here, and I'm, I love cranking. I love cranking Pete's Quiet Killer. This is a Storm Wiggle Wart, but it's this is a, a custom crankbait rod by Denali. It's seven foot. They come in medium action and medium heavy action. I use both actions depending on the depth and the weight of the crankbait, but it, it's a beautiful action. It's a softer rod, which helps me keep those hooks pinned and doesn't allow that crankbait to get pulled out of that fish's mouth. Super light, super comfortable to be cranking all day long. Those three rods will get me through about 90% of all my fishing situations. I love Denali rods. Steady, comfortable, all the actions, extremely durable rods. Give them a try, Denali Fishing Rods. I'm Pete Gluzak from the Bash University TV. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Me and Pete Gluzak out here in the Delaware River. Check back next week for more bass catching here on the river. And go to the Tackle Warehouse Facebook page, like, share, and comment on that thing, and you're gonna have a chance to win some of the great tackle you've seen used today. You could have a chance to win all this great gear that you see, all you need to do is go to the Tackle Warehouse Facebook page and click on the gear giveaway tab at the top of the page. People look at these little balsa head style jigs and they think these hooks can bend. This heavy finesse jig by War Eagle has got a beefy little hook in it. We're in a little pocket here, wind blown, deeper water, through some reaction baits where it's getting a bite. If you know they're there, slow down, man. That's the time to grab the finesse rod.